art mystery, and a chess mystery. Hello. Today I'm, I'm sorry, there's something on my sleeve. Oh, looks like Cass Lars wrote an intro over a, I think it was a Douglas fir martini last night with some Italian food. So let's see what she wrote. Uh, today we're going to be cheeky little shoe designers um, and make something that frankly I'm shocked hasn't reemerged as a trend. Shoe clips. Okay, I'm intrigued. Um, we're going to use scrap leather. So this project is a cheap, low stakes entry point if you want to dabble in leather craft or spice up some lackluster shoes. Well, let's pop over and look at the ingredients. Scrap leather, thick and thin. A utility knife. Barges cement. A tracing tool. Metal shoe clips, a hammer, and if you're an absolute maniac, a shoe anvil. Where to start on this one? I was preparing for a photo shoot a year or so ago, and I wanted some interesting shoes for the shoot, and like I just either couldn't find them or couldn't afford them or whatever, and I was like, shoe clips? Because I haven't really heard about shoe clips. Like I have some examples here. Um, from like <laughs> probably the 80s. They're nice and dusty. Anyway, and they usually look a little more kind of Easter sort of vibe. And so I started working with them and then I, for some reason, I started really wimpy, like tiny, like, you know, like I was scared to go too big or something. Also, this looks like, um, what is that soup that has like little stars? Oh, it's literally called like chicken stars or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so for some reason, I started small and like, no, you got to go big, you got to go extra. And so I don't have any background really in leather shoes, anything like that. It's kind of scary. And I was like, well, what if I just kind of start? I don't know how to make a shoe clip. I'm just going to start. I went to, I think I went to Scrap in Portland. There's also a place called Oregon Leather. And probably as far as sourcing, I'm sure like Etsy. I think I just see like leather online. Um, I wonder if even like a shoe repair place. Maybe, the, maybe? I don't know. Um, I bet I'm there's... Sure there's I bet there's so many sources I don't even know about. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but, or if a person like makes leather bags, maybe like a maker lives in your city or whatever, you know, depending on the size of the clip you want, kind of get your scrap piled together. And let me see some of the ones I've made. Let's see if I can get a rough estimate. Um, depends on obviously the shoe and everything, but it looks like it is about, come on, it's about three inches or so. So like about three by three, give or take. Um, unless you want to go for something, you know, smaller, you could do multiples on one shoe. That could be kind of interesting. Here is my scrap pile. And there's also the potential of doing shearling. And I don't know if it's this traditional, but this one has cloth on the other side, but it'd work just as well. Although I did notice I cut a flower shape out of the, <laughs> the shearling and you cannot tell it's a shape. It just looks like, uh, it's kind of a pentag pentagon, pentagon. Pentag I was like, pentagram, 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 pentagon. <laughs> um, and so, and then this one that's a square looks like a push broom, <laughs> kind of like a scrub brush, whatever that is, you know. Anyway, so, but shearling is an option if you want some more texture. And um, I probably won't get into this today. That might be a future video, but you can also paint them various ways. Um, like this artist palette, like I kind of like, sorry, I'm getting into the weeds on this, but I'm like, I want to do one where maybe I actually give it to like painters and they like, I mean, this wouldn't be helpful to them. <laughs> They'd be doing me a favor, but like really like make it look authentic. I guess I could do that too, but yeah. Um, all right. So we got checks, we got, you know, little flowers and things. So option to paint if you want to get some leather paint, but that's for a future video. Today, let's just go into what is a shoe clip? How do you make it? It's going to be shockingly easy and you're going to be like, you charlatan, like <laughs> real quick. Let me just show you the clip. So you see the parts that we'll need and the different types of leather. I am no leather expert. There are apparently different sizes. 
explore that. <laughs> All I know is you'll need a main piece of leather. It's a little bit thicker. It helps if it's like either a little bit stiff, it has some sort of body to it. It's not just like flopping. You know what I mean? It's not just like thin and <laughs> thin and flopping. So it has maybe a little body. And if it's too thick, I mean, this could definitely still work, but um, it might be harder to cut. But kind of a thicker leather for the main body of the clip. And then there'll be a piece that the metal I keep saying clip so many times. That's the word of the day. Anyway, so the metal part of the actual clip, it kind of needs to slide into another piece of leather. And that, I think it helps if that one's a little bit thinner, more manageable. So you'll need two, probably two different thicknesses. You could maybe, I mean, you know, fudge that and kind of do one that's sort of in between. It works for both. Anyway, I've got a few pieces of thinner leather here uh, that will be the backing. So I'll call that the backing. Uh, I'm trying to think of different words. <laughs> so I've got my thicker leather for the body of the clip. I've got the thinner backing leather here and then the metal clip. And I know it's annoying if you just want to like, I just want to make like a couple of clips and maybe there's a way online you can just get like a couple of, of these, but I have to get um, about 24 pair, I think, or something. So you might have to get a few, but I think it's like 10 bucks. I mean, I don't know, it's kind of worth it. So that way, if you want to make multiple multiple pairs or you want to go into business, you know, um, and I don't know, run me out of town. I think there might be different sizes. I feel like I've seen some that are longer and almost look like a barrette. I don't I don't know. Um, but this is just I don't know. It's it's this size. <laughs> and then it has a little hinge and then it looks like that. And it has these little metal bits. And this is what like digs into the shoe. Um, usually on the back of the shoe so it doesn't ruin your shoe. So the other part of this, the fun design part, is what shape you're going to do. So obviously there's so many more options, um, but let's see what we got here in my little collection and everything's going to look like crazy garbage. All right, so you could go for just, you know, truly circle, square shapes. Um, you could go for a classic flower and then sort of like a blob flower so um there's that and then this one i am at a loss of what to call that is that a, it kind of looks like a teddy bear actually but like is it sort of like a snowman is yeah, it a like cloud a, yeah maybe, oh my God, maybe that's it a it's a gummy bear okay it's a gummy bear or maybe it's a cloud or like a grub worm anyways there's that <laughs> shape and here's like the giant version i think i really went like out of control with this one it could be fun for a photo shoot. I don't know about for day-to-day -day life. Um, all right. Oh, and then I went really crazy with the artist palette, um, which is kind of hard to cut a <laughs> bit. Um, and then, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, anything, anything and everything. Um, today, there are so many possibilities. Flower and blob flower, I think, for me. But how to cut the leather. I mean... It's so easy, seriously. Okay, well, I say it's easy and then I'm like, well, I gotta sort of match up. I have the most random thicknesses of leather. I've got to, and the colors, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's see, does anything look alike now? Okay. <sighs> I guess those sort of go together. It looks like this piece of leather was going to be, or was in the process of being a little coin purse. But anyway, I don't know why I'm being so buttoned down about this. Like, well, others have to match. Uh, they don't really have to, I guess. All right. Hmm. Also, I want to make it easy. I don't want to be too thick, and then I make a fool of myself. Okay. So, obviously, just make sure the piece is big enough for the shape you want. And as far as tracing the stencil and cutting it out, I think it might be easier to trace on the top because I feel like you have a little more control when you're cutting than if it's like on the, because my first instinct would be like, oh, we'll do it on the suede side. I think you could do it either way. I don't know. I just want to make sure that when we're cutting with the um, utility knife that it doesn't end up like some sort of weird angle. I feel like you'd have more control doing it from, um, I mean, unless you, yeah, unless you want the suede side, that's another option right there. You do a suede one. Okay. Anyways. So many ideas, but this way, oh wait, here's an, actually, here's why we want to do it from this. Well, if you want the leather side on the top, cause like, what if I'd put it 
over the top of that little nub, which is fine. Obviously, you know, we're here to like be okay with imperfection, but um, that, that way I get a little more control over what's going on up here. Okay. Let me just breathe. <laughs> and I just want to make sure that this is like the side, like, okay, I want it to be, this looks like some nonsense. This looks like a melted gingerbread man. <laughs> Okay, so are there any major stains? I mean, a few maybe, but it's fine. Okay, and then I'm just going to trace um, with a pencil. You could also maybe do a Sharpie. I'm trying to think. The only thing is when you're cutting, if you don't plan on painting it, just you really would have to like give it a wide berth as far as like, you know, cutting, like not including the Sharpie, unless you want to, um, in it. You know what I'm saying? So this way it'll be kind of faint. It's okay if you see a little bit of it, but you see what I'm saying? It's a Sharpie just, you know, it might be more work trying to slice around it. I love that I create problems. <laughs> and then I'm like, here's how to get all this jam that I created for you. I could just say, use a pencil. <laughs> but no. All right. There's that. It's kind of faint, but there you go. And then this one. And obviously if you have a bigger piece, you know, you might want to sort of tuck it into corner so you can save as much leather as you want. Or depending on, you know, like again, the flaws. And that's what's so great about this is that like you're jazzing up a pair of shoes and you're using scrap leather. So it is like low waist, but like high impact. And you can switch it out. So, you know, try it on different pairs of shoes. I missed a spot there. Oop. Oop, get it. All right. And if the leather is thin enough, this is more for the backing, I guess, than this one. You might even just be able to use scissors. I mean, if it, it's more of like a square, a simple shape. But this one's a little tricky. So I'm going to go with the old utility knife. This is going to be very helpful with... Um, any leather craft you do. Um, so I think it's helpful to sort of almost like hold it like a pencil for the first round and almost like draw a little, like you're just trying to sketch and or etch or whatever, um, like just sort of tracing over this line very faintly. Like do, don't worry about like really like, you know, piercing the leather like that. We're just gonna be doing, it. it's hard to see so on you're camera. Just like scoring. You're just, yeah, scoring. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, you know, stay in your lane. Uh, this is, okay. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. No, it's scoring. <laughs> um, all right. So, yes, yeah, scoring. Uh, just along. And you might, like, get off track, but, like, let me just get right back on. And so I'm just going to be going all the way around this one and this one. And then after I do that, we'll go in for the second round where we really go deep. I have just gone around it and scored it and you know I did the best I could obviously it's not perfection and uh so you can see that I well I don't know if you can see but I've gone about halfway through if that even and now I'm going to go deeper with the utility knife so I can cut all the way through and so and obviously like be careful I don't know should I just say that be careful <laughs> you know I don't be sued for malpractice oh yeah I guess I didn't really mention a cutting mat I'm going to go all the way through with my utility knife using that as a guide and so I'm going to be cutting all the way and so you need to be mindful of what you're cutting on. Um, so I've got my, I don't know if this is a self-healing cutting mat, but it's a cutting mat, um, but you know, a, a charcuterie board or a piece of cardboard or something. Anyways, so let me dig in.
I cut out the two shapes and if the edges are a little like kind of like little suede bits are hanging around, you can either get your thread snippers and sort of clip those off. If you're really careful, you can get your utility knife blade and kind of whittle it if there's some like bigger pieces, but just again, be very careful when you're doing that. Or you might even be able to get like a nail file and kind of, you know, do that number. So a couple of options for that to clean it up. So now we're going to do the, cut out the two backing pieces of leather. And depending on the shape you're using, um, you might want to change the shape of the backing. But I think just like a rectangle or a circle or whatever is like easiest. Um, and this, again, depending on the size of your piece, um, of the, of your shape, We'll just need to fit where you can't see it. Um, and that is big enough to house the clip. So let me grab that. All right. So at this, like when it's done, when we're done gluing and all this stuff, it's going to fit like that. So just have, so you have a visual of where we're headed, but to cut it out, just get like a little bit thinner leather and you can either just use your scissors or do the same thing with the utility knife like we just did and trace it and then <clears throat> trace it and then cut that out and then we'll just be cutting the slit to put the clip into so just imagine i've cut this out <laughs> i've cut out two here they are and so for the slit i would do it kind of near the top because the placement of this um when it's on the shoe it's probably going to sort of clip and then hang down a bit so it's this is such a little micro piece of information <laughs> nitty-gritty but i like to put it just a little near the top of the shape and so same with like the slit it just has to cover up you know sorry i'm saying slit so I much know. there's like this opening Ooh. this slit, is really slit. i don't know what other word graphic. i got nothing my yeah. mind is, my mind opening. is a blank <laughs> oh is opening that much better opening. <laughs> Yeah, I think because I'm saying it so many times, but saying it at all, I'm like, slit is just slash. Even is like little. Oof, sounds wrong. It's, everything is so. It all sounds wrong. Everything is like <laughs> so vulgar. I don't really have anything. <laughs> the opening, the the door, oh. the hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the entrance. Yeah. Oh, everything sounds gross now that I we're know. trying to get away from I a know. gross word. Um. Oh my god, there's nothing. <laughs> sorry. Do I have to get out like a thesaurus? Okay, sorry, we need to get through this. Okay. Um, so pretend, pretend, we're, pretend we've, we're saying something uh, unperverted. We've come up with it and it's just, anyways, this mark here that we're making through the leather. So I'm putting the, the opening to the envelope, the backing. I don't know, we're losing the thread here. So I'm putting the bit where the clip goes in. <laughs> at the top just to cover it up this whole situation before we glue it to make sure that the glue adheres we need to scratch up or score or rough up <laughs> we need to rough up <laughs> we need to anyway um the underside of the body of the clip the shape and the underside the suede side of the backing so that is easy enough just get your utility knife and very carefully again i don't i feel like i always carefully carefully um, you're literally just going to do this. With, it's like a little bit the broad side of the blade. Like it's not so much slicing. It's more. And it, you may not be able to see it, but you're almost like creating more of a suede look. It's, I think it might be more visually. Yeah, there go. So just do a little bit this way, a little bit the other way, maybe diagonal just to get more sort of fibers just this will give the glue something to cling to i guarantee this is an important step it may seem like nothing but it's huge and just because i'm particular you could just kind of go crazy with the roughing up i like to sort of trace where the backing is going to be and kind of stay within those lines but you know you can go wild with it as for the gluing okay barges cement i'm like Barges cement <laughs> is wonderful. It has its own, um, it's, anyway, it's great for leather crafts and maybe probably other things too. And it's got its own little wand brush, <laughs> um, but it can get a little out of control. Oh yeah, um, open the windows, ventilation, you know, this is, this is pretty intense stuff. So 
just get a little bit of glue and I put it on one side. Again, trying to stay within that sort of rectangle so it's not super messy back there. And even though I don't need a whole lot, this is probably maybe a little bit much. This glue has lasted me like a, two years, so like it's still doing pretty good for old glue. <laughs> old glue, that was my nickname in college. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs> okay, so just something like that. And then some on the other. Oh, my house is. I need to open a new jar. Oof. And then, of course, the leather dust bits are going to get in there too. It's fine, whatever. Okay. Oh my God, it's going everywhere. Yeah, maybe I should open up a new, a new. Yeah, this is just going to get a little messy for a minute. So now I'm going to glue the other side and then I'm going to let it get just sort of dry a little so it gets a little tacky and doesn't have that sheen on it. And then we're going to sandwich it all together. While it dries a little longer, we could go over what types of shoes tend to um, work best with a shoe clip. And so because like as much as I'd love for it to work in a boot, it might be kind of tricky. I would say it works best with a lace-up shoe. You can just pop it right there or at the bottom. A shoe that has a little more of like a low cut to it, like this, because if it's a um, like a more of a high cut glove shoe, it just might kind of interfere with your walking. <laughs> so something like that. Or some sandals, this might not be the best example because I'm like, I guess you could put it from the side, you know, a little off. But anyways, if you made it big enough, I think it could work um, or from the bottom. But just, you know, think about the placement as you're, especially when you're figuring out the placement of the clip. Sorry, these are horrible examples. I apparently have no sandals. So I'm like, maybe not this, but the idea of being able to clip it on a sandal. Um, so I think a T-strap or the Mary Jane might be another, um, a good fit. I think it's about time to put this all together. So carefully insert the, I guess I could have also glued the how do i say i could have put the metal clip in and then glued it okay so it's gonna go there and it's kind of hard to tell how far out like the hinge should be so just sort of fill that out and then i'm just placing it right on top because it's gonna start gluing pretty quick all right and at this point you can either just Give it a good pressing down all around it like this. Or if you're an absolute freak, you might have a shoe anvil. <laughs> if you know if you're getting into leather crafts, I feel like I keep saying leather craft and it sounds like it should be a board game, like World of Warcraft. <laughs> I'm like dorks of leather craft or something. Like anyway, if you have a shoe anvil, we can I'll show you the other method real quick. All right, so same deal. Again, maybe I could have put that in there before I put the glue down. All right, line that up. And it's pretty much this. You can also do it on the corner of a desk. If you want to really feel like a badass, like a, a Viking or something, I would say put some protection down on the anvil or the corner of the desk. And then maybe also on top of this. And, well, I guess you could just go right for it. Anyways, basically, you would use the hammer to just... Up and then just give it a few whacks, <laughs> and that way it'll really seal that bond. And I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna do it on this one too while we're at it, but you can totally just like press down firmly for like five seconds. But how often am I gonna get to hammer in here? You know, I gotta press you. All right, oh, they're done, they're gorgeous. All right, let's, uh, let's see what they look like on a shoe. Here they are, gorgeous, so many options. I love this like art pop thing. You could do two circles, two squares, or mix it up. Um, then we've got some shearling texture here, and then the infamous artist palette, oh, ooh. What's this twist it's an outro <laughs> all 
All right. The shoe is transformed. How did she know? Um, you can experiment with the shape. If you can't find the color of leather you want, you can paint the clips. A cornucopia, actually a cornucopia shoe clip would be cute. I can see it. Fruit coming out of a horn of plenty. Um, someone definitely do that. This is definitely one for the books. Now go on, you good thing. Okay, I just finished it. <laughs> Getting that mindset. Okay. Oh, I can really smell that glue. Um, <laughs> we can't already be tired. <laughs> okay, okay. Truly, like glue. I'm loose as a goose. Okay. Well, it's true. Find <laughs> my truth. Oh, my God. Um, ugh. <laughs> We're perfect. We are. Okay. All right. Some leather dust? I don't know. And just like freeze. <laughs>